there's basically two reasons why you tell this information that I'm going to give you is one of the two reasons is, is either you're getting paid for it okay or you've been drinking and lucky for you I've been doing some drinking and it's not about not about you know just hoarding information it's about sharing that information having a good life for yourself and also sharing what you have but if you had a Rolls Royce and I had a Rolls Royce and everybody around you had a Rolls Royce and we were sitting there in front of the red light what good is it for for everybody to have a Rolls Royce right what good is for everybody to be uh, the rich so the game is to be sold and not told right so I had uh, I was doing I used to do seminars well now you know I don't do as many seminars as as uh, webinars but the last seminar I did true story I said to the man in the front I said sir so what is it that you're trying to do he said well what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to start my business and I'm trying to have a car a, a mobile de detail washing business I said so what does it take for you to do that he said well it's gonna take me I have to save and get the uh, truck then I gotta save and get the reservoir then after I get the reservoir then I have to go and get a licensing and I have to get all of this stuff and I said really I said well ma'am the lady sitting next to him I says why is he doing all of this why is he doing all of this stuff and she said well to get the money I said yes I said so sir why are you doing all this stuff he says exactly what she said to get the money I says oh, okay what if I was to tell you to just walk in the bank and get some money and eliminate all of that other stuff scratching his head like wait a minute are you serious what you talking about I said well what if I was to tell you the secrets that the bank wants to know in order to give you the money and then just walk out with one or the two or the three hundred four hundred some real money not five thousand dollars not ten thousand dollars but some real money walk in the bank and walk out with Willie Corporation ABC Incorporated which is your mannequin and you say, Willie needs some money. And you satisfy everything that they want. And they say, well, would you like to open an account here and have that transferred in your account? Simple as that. What if I was to tell you and show you exactly what they wanted to hear? Because they want to give you the money. They want to give you the money, but under, under GAP and other banking principles, you know, I know, I was in banking. There are certain things that they need to do in order to give you the money. So, number one, you have to go in, you have to have all your documentation in place, right? So, if you walk in and you say to the bank, you say, I want $300,000, $500,000, the bank's going to say, is that corporation a baby? Because we don't deal with babies. And you're going to say, no, it's not a baby. It has the age that it needs to have. Thus, I'll show you how to make that corporation have the age it needs to have. Number two. Does your corporation do business out of your own home? Well, a corporation is a person. So it should not be doing business out of your own home because that's your poor cousin living on your couch. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now the bank lives by a different system. We have to remember that. The bank lives by a system of leveraging. It's fiat money. It's not real money like gold and silver. Gold and silver is only money, by the way. So the bank lives by something called fiat money right so if you put a thousand dollars in the bank how much does the bank have the bank has ten thousand dollars now because they can leverage it nine times so now you just help the bank become richer so if somebody gave you a dollar and all of a sudden it made them ten dollars richer wouldn't they want to deal with you well of course so if you borrowed a thousand dollars out of the bank from the bank what does the bank have the bank has ten thousand dollars plus the interest so you're making the bank nine times richer so that they can lend out more money tomorrow so why wouldn't they want to give you the money these are the secrets that you need to learn that I'm going to teach you so after Kyle got this information to me I said these guys are remarkable that's when I understood true wealth because you can name the three richest people in the world and all three of those people are not gonna have more money than a bank okay so I made a conscious decision to share what I knew what I've learned because it was shared with me it was shared with me okay this guy took me there I was he wasn't jealous of me he didn't have any issues with me he said I want you 
to know this. And now I'm telling you, I want you to know this, right? Because there's enough money for everybody. And you may say, like I just told you, why would the bank give me this money? What are the negatives about it? Well, I told you, the negatives are, number one, you're not motivated, right? Because first of all, people say knowledge is power. Well, knowledge isn't power. The application of knowledge is power. So if I tell you all this information that I'm going to give to you, I'm going to give you this information. But if I tell you this information and you don't use it, then what good is it? Now, what I want to tell you is, is that what if he never come to me and said, hey, I'm going to show you the dollars, right? I believe that was his purpose. What if he just said, hey, man, you're doing great. And I'd, he said, well, just watch me, right? Then I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't have any of this stuff. I wouldn't have these homes, I wouldn't have these cars, you know, I wouldn't have these $700,000 cars and clinics and all this stuff, right? But I want you to know, you're just as good as anybody out there that's rich. The only difference is, is they have the knowledge, okay? So the reason you're watching this is because you want financial success. If you didn't want financial success, you wouldn't be watching it, would you?